Going on the attack here, possibly. I moved my army out to secure my expansion, and it looks like that's what he's doing as well. So no, he is not going for an attack here. Uh, I just am over anxious because I want to see this game go. In fact, let's speed it up if I can. Sorry, it's going to get a little choppy. But the game has been straggling on for quite some time. He is going to get Protoss Shield 1. I don't believe I got any upgrades yet. No, I did not. And in comes some, a couple more Zealots. He's going to get a, a pylon here so that he can warp directly into where his army stands. But he is not getting an expansion yet, even though he secured everything there. Uh, he is, oh, well, he doesn't have enough minerals for it anyways. Combat shield being researched for me. Siege tanks on the way. Do I have one yet? No, I don't. So that will be the first. And in comes the observer. I always forget about the observers. Um, of course, Protoss never forget about the observers. They are so important for mid to late game scouting. So here we go. Will we be seeing a battle? Yes, it doesn't look like he was expecting um, my army to be there that soon. And that is quite an awkward placement of these force fields. It actually is detrimental to him because now his zealots have to run around the force fields while my marines and marauders pick them off. So although those force fields did not necessarily win the game for me, it definitely did not help him. But now the siege tank is up and sieged up, so I should be able to secure anything he's got left. Uh, but he does have four stalkers out, so um, even though I do think that, or at least I did think that he sent everything that he had, and he pretty much did, uh, these, I believe, were built after the attack. I didn't go for the immediate counterattack. You don't always want to go for the immediate counterattack because, well, everything here is pretty weak, you know. Like that, that guy's only got three health left. So if I sent them in, pretty much not going to win me the game. It's pretty much going to screw me over more than anything else. Um, these guys all have full health, and of course, Protoss have so much more health than Mer than the Terrans. So I am g just going to continue to build the army there. I am getting an orbital command at my expansion, so I can get some more mules. How is the income tab doing? I do have the lead, and of course, once this expansion is fully saturated, I will have a huge lead against him. Uh, because he does not have the expansion yet, still. Um, doesn't have really the, the economy for the expansion, I guess, because he did go for um, the army to counter what he assumed was going to be a counterattack. But no, it's going to be too late because these medevacs are out and they're going to save my life. Thank you, healing green beam of life, not of death. And here, looks like he's going to be building a proxy pylon using that probe that was stationed at the Selnaga Tower since pretty much the three or four minute mark, I believe. And there it goes right back in. And here he moves in. Uh, this observer saw what was going on. So, I, and once again, just a really odd placement of the force field. Um, that's not going to do anything. My concave was already set up behind the force field, so it's not like it's preventing anybody from getting any shots off. Stim pack going up, and I should be able to handle this no problem, even though he's got the one armor upgrade. There's a plasma shield upgrade, I'm not sure if that's armor. I'm not too familiar with the Protoss builds in StarCraft 2. So I apologize. And now he's got two observers scouting the same thing. So, oh, there goes one. Nope, he's going to stay. So, yeah, two observers guarding this. Just, just keeping an eye. 
he wants, you know, he wants to double check the other observer's work, I guess. Uh, he still never really went into my base. Let's see. I mean, yeah, he he has no idea what I have in here. I mean, he knows that I have a starport. He knows that I have a factory, uh, and he knows that I have uh, barracks. But really, he doesn't know that I have a tech lab here. He doesn't know that I have an engineering bay up and no armory, so that uh, that would tell him that I'm pretty much sticking with the infantry. And of course, I still didn't go for the counterattack here because I was so low on units, and what that did was, well, it looks like he's going to back off. Um, it made him second guess it. Um, when he went for that all-in attack again, um, he pretty much wasted minerals, you know? So I didn't want to waste my minerals going back at him. And here I build a missile turret. Now he's got two observers that both of them can see this missile turret going up. So they should run away, right? Any minute now. Observer. Missile turret. Right there. Right there. Are you gonna run? And... <laughs> no. He waits until it's too late. These marines pick off one. Missile turret kills one because it does 24 damage <laughs> uh, so and look at that lead in the harvester count I've had this up this whole time I haven't brought it up look at that uh, I'm just gonna call that a thousand to about 750 and you know two to one here uh, so I have quite the big lead in terms of income and an army so then once that third tank comes out, I believe that is when I go for my first counterattack. First run of the game. I, of course, haven't seen anything that he has going on in his base. But, of course, I don't have a unit that can go in and just constantly look at people like an overlord or an observer. So scouting is pretty hard for Terran early. Um, pretty much until late game, until you can start getting some banshees. Or anything like that, or some Vikings that just fly right through. Maybe Vedavax that do that. So here I go for my first counterattack, and he does see that with the pylon. So he is getting a couple zealots, but no, he's getting an, an, an observer as well out of the robotics facility. He is not going to be going for Colossus like a champ, like a boss. But no, he is going for the observer instead and I don't even bother sieging up these guys oh what am I doing uh, I, I think I waited for these couples else to die and then I went okay siege up now see that uh, there we go and boom that is a ton of damage I know nothing has died yet but uh, that has a ton of damage being done by those siege tanks, of course. Look at that. 35 standard, 50 against armored. That is a lot of damage. And so I just move straight in. Banshee's coming out. Uh, not because I want to go for the cloak, but because, once again, they are good in a regular army. And it looks like he's... Um, no, he's still doing stuff. He's still in the game. Oh, there we go. Colossus just now coming out. Way too late. He did not need that observer. Um, the Colossus would not have won the game for him, but it definitely would have done a lot of damage here. Uh, but instead he went the observer and had to leave the game. He had nothing left. Just that one Colossus on the way. And of course a couple warp gates. Did he have money? No, he didn't even have money to uh, get anything because this expansion was way too late uh so that's the game i hope you guys enjoyed it i know this was um a little long i'm not sure why it lasted so long uh, even though it was quite a short game you know only 15 minutes uh so i'll look into that i hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time i'm out bye